our nation's leaders have just weeks to hash out a solution that will avoid another potential government shutdown. Good evening to you at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Christiane Klein. Now, if they can't agree to terms on the president's border wall, federal agencies like McCarran's air traffic control tower could be impacted once again. Tonight, 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga got an exclusive look on what it takes to keep the skies safe. Shakela? Well, Brian and Christiane, more than 800,000 federal employees will receive their first paycheck since late December. This newest bill will fund agencies temporarily for the next three weeks. This 352 foot tower allows air traffic controllers to watch over one of the nation's busiest airports. We're often confused with the uh, guys with the glow sticks, and that's not us. They're the ones who expedite the flow of air traffic, they prevent collisions and support the pilots. It's a constantly moving jigsaw puzzle of, of air traffic. For most of them, today is the first day in a while that they'll get paid. The 35 day shutdown was the longest one in U.S. history. So the last several weeks have been have been rather stressful, mostly due to the open-endedness of the shutdown. They were here working without a paycheck. If you're out of work, then you go and you seek other employment to, you know, keep the income coming in. But we were working. We were gainfully employed. We were working. We just weren't being paid. Borgert called Friday's bill signing by President Trump a step in the right direction, but he and his team are still in limbo. Three weeks doesn't really put anybody at ease, though. We, we all have this underlying feeling that um, it very well might, may happen again come February 15th. And what you'll see is uh, six day work weeks and up to 10 hour days. And after a while, those really start to, to bear down on you. On top of the unknown, staffing nationwide is already a huge problem. According to the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, it is at a 30-year low. Christiane? Thank you, Shakela.